Movies, we love them. But what makes some movies incredibly successful while others flop? The inherent uncertainties in filmmaking have led industry professionals to adopt William Goldman's view that nobody knows anything about motion picture performance. Adding to this, recent years have seen radical changes to the way we produce, market and consume motion pictures. New recording technologies and collaboration in ways we couldn't have imagined are now possible. Viral marketing campaigns are commonplace and we can enjoy movies in our home with cinema-like picture and sound quality or on the train on our smartphones and tablets. So, bearing all this in mind, what do we know about motion picture performance? I performed a thorough analysis of research into motion picture performance, reviewing 135 academic studies published in the past 35 years in the fields of strategy, organizational theory, marketing, cultural economics and sociology. Here are the six things that we, academic researchers, know about motion picture performance. First thing, we have not been measuring things right. Here is how we researchers view the performance of motion pictures. We view it through domestic theatrical performance and domestic ancillary performance. We also view it through international theatrical performance and artistic recognition, although that last dimension is difficult to define. We also know that there are powerful feedback loops between these dimensions. Most of the studies use normal Gaussian models to account for box office performance. An alternative method is to look at the distribution of revenue using non-normal models that better account for this distribution over time. The second thing we know about motion picture performance is that we have not been measuring the right things. When assessing film commercial performance, most studies look at attendance and box office revenue, not film profitability, that is, film return on investment. Future studies should focus more on profitability. Domestic ancillary performance and international theatrical performance measures are also underutilized. A striking example of the trouble of only looking at domestic box office performance is 1994's The Shawshank Redemption, which saw terrible box office results of only $18 million domestically against its $35 million budget. However, the film went on to enjoy amazing success on video and television, making it a huge commercial success in the end. The third thing we know about motion picture performance is that the dimensions of performance interact. For instance, artistic and commercial dimensions of performance may well influence each other in some instances, yet they may also hinder each other. Amadeus, released in 1984, won no less than eight Academy Awards and went on to gross over $51 million at the domestic box office. Ghostbusters, released in the same year, won no Academy Awards, but nonetheless grossed over $230 million at the domestic box office. The fourth thing we know about motion picture performance is that star actors and directors increase revenue but may not increase profitability, because often they capture most of that additional value via their fees and revenue share participation deals. The fifth thing we know about motion picture performance is that spectators have good taste but also enjoy bad films. Non-expert spectators share the norm of what experts consider good and display some good taste. Yet, they may be drawn to bad films because they find them more enjoyable, exciting or accessible. In other words, they seek distraction more than cinematic ambition in their cinema outings and video rentals. The sixth and final thing we know about motion picture performance is that regional preference is the norm in countries with strong film industries. In these countries like France, Italy or India, all other things being equal, including the perceived quality or entertainment value of the movie, spectators will opt for a local product rather than an import. So to summarize, here is what we know about motion picture performance. One, we have not been measuring things right. Two, we have not been measuring the right things. Three, the dimensions of performance interact. Four, star actors and directors increase revenue but may not increase profitability. Five, spectators have good taste but also enjoy bad movies. Six, 
Regional preference is the norm in countries with strong film industries. So instead of assuming, as the industry axiom does, that nobody knows anything, it seems like somebody knows something after all. There's also lots more to learn. Read the full research paper and find out more. Or contact me via email.